we live in a world of polarities. You know, we have a we have a world of people who want to who dream of being a movie star, but we have a world of people wearing a mask, so that way they won't be seen on the cameras everywhere, right? You know, I mean, because there's cameras everywhere. I mean, you know, when somebody does a crime, you know, the police are able to say. Oh, there's a camera at this ATM machine, and oh, there's a camera at this convenience store, and there's a camera at this bank, and there's a camera on this pole, and there's a camera here, and then there was 17 other people with cameras in their pocket, and then they all use those, so we can use that evidence to be able to hold somebody accountable. The problem is, is when you feel that your privacy is being violated. I mean, you know, nobody should be able to just follow you around by pump punching in your number in a membership club that somebody else made and be able to track your every move I mean that's that's a little that's a little psychotic but you know th there's been times that I mean like when I was younger I mean it, that was a long time ago when not everybody had a camera in their pocket because the 35 millimeter film and the 110 film cost a lot of money to develop so you only took that out on special occasions you know but now you can take thousands of pictures a day, upload them to a cloud, and, and they're there forever, right? Well, back then, I got, I got hit by a Ford Bronco crossing a highway. And it was outside of a convenience store. So now I would have been able to go, hey, wow, I'm, hey, I'm that person that got hit on, by the Bronco, got splattered across the windshield, and then thrown off. You know, that one, that was me, okay? So I spent 11 days in the hospital, but I'm feeling a lot better now. I was wondering if I could get that video because I don't really remember much of it and I was really hoping that you guys caught that on video because I'm like if I went through that much pain and that much trauma and I caused that much trauma to other people this should at least be able to be a learning experience and maybe I can make a few bucks at it because it costs us like fifty thousand dollars in medical bills oh good thing we had insurance because if we wouldn't we would have ended up homeless I mean, you know, for a kid's stupid mistake, you end up homeless. That is a horrible thing to be happening in America. Why are things happening like that in America? Because everybody wants to be a television actor, but nobody wants to be an actor in their own life, being held accountable for what they do, what they think, what they are willing to bring into this life experience. When we start bringing self-accountability into all of our decision-making, we're actually going to want to be held accountable for our, our actions right? There's a way that it can be happening for us, and there's a way that it could be happening to us. For us, is happened through localization of everything that you do, because in localization of everything that you do, you are going to be finding efficiency, accountability, and transparency in what we experience in life. And right now, when we let somebody somewhere else run our life, we are not going to be, well, I've never even met Biden, and I, I don't care to. Um, I don't, I, I've never really met any of the presidents. I've seen one of them from a little bit of a distance when I was as a little servant in the Air Force, but that, that, was, that wasn't it. I mean, you know, and, and they didn't, they didn't glow. I mean, I, you know, we heard like Jesus, he like, whoa, glowed everywhere he walked and talked and everywhere that he presented um, the face of God, you know, the, the image of God, the love, compassion, unity, peace, all of these things. Why are we supporting people with our money and our energy that are not aligned with that? Why? You just got to ask yourself, why? Why am I supporting that? And if I think that I'm not supporting it, am I paying taxes to them? Am I, am I doing the things in my life that empower somebody else? Or am I doing everything in my life that I can to empower what I believe in? I believe that everyone everywhere should have access to shelter, food, and water. It doesn't have to be an apartment that has three bedrooms and two bathrooms and access to the pool downstairs. But a cave, a, 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 an engineered cave into the side of a property is sufficient shelter to keep people from freezing to death. And if we lived in a humane society, we would at least offer a honeycomb type 
structure of some sort or you know something that nature has shown us is efficiency and providing that for for those of us who don't know how to provide for themselves you know because there's a lot of things you just don't even know that you don't know until you know them you know and there's some people that have been exposed only to ideas that have been advertised to them ways in which other people make money off of what we do how we experience our life so anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna cut this short because there's work to do so if you want to ever want to come up and volunteer help out up here i sure appreciate it have a good day